Hey guys, I'm Alan from Premiere Pro Tips, um, your number one source for Premiere Pro tutorials, <laughs> and welcome to another video tutorial. Um, first of all, I'd like to begin this video just by saying thanks um, for the great response that you guys have given to um, my channel. Um, it's growing pretty quickly, at least for my standards. Um, so in this tutorial, I'm going to go over keyframing. Um, keyframing is a bit of an advanced um, what what do I call it? An advanced, not tactic. Uh, I don't know. An advanced method. Ah, oh, I don't. Advanced technique is that the right word? Yeah, for Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's a little on the tougher side. It's not as easy as some of the other things. But um, once you get a hang of it, it's pretty easy, and um, it really lets you manipulate video um, to make it just how you want it. Um, so you can apply keyframes to either videos or um, or just normal pictures like I have there. Um, so for this one, the, the premise of keyframing is the same for no matter what effect you're adjusting. You can adjust it in the motions tab, opacity, you can adjust any of that. Basically if there's this little um, clock it's like a stopwatch right here when you hold your mouse over it it says toggle animation if if it has that that means that you can manipulate it some way so um so an effect that i'm going to affect or uh, an effect that i'm going to add to this is under the effect panel and then under vi um, i think it's video effects you have video effects generate and then lens flare so i'm just going to drag and drop it onto um, my video and this is a pretty cool effect. Um, as you can see, it generated here. That's without it. That's with it. It's just a little lens flare. Now we could obviously just um, just manipulate this as it is by clicking on the effect, and you'll get this little dot here. And we can drag it. So I'm I'm gonna assume that the sun is like somewhere over there. So so that would be how it would look but then if I were to play the video it just stays in the same spot so that obviously doesn't look very realistic so we wanna we wanna adjust it so that it looks more realistic so first thing you wanna do is you wanna get it to the correct starting position so go to the first frame in your video like I am right now and then you wanna set the parameters to whatever you want it to start out as that's the first step then the next step is to click on whatever stopwatches that you're gonna be affecting so the flare center, I'm definitely going to be moving it. So you want to create a keyframe, um, and then uh, the flare brightness. We don't want it to be fully bright all the time. So you want to click that as well. And then we're not going to be adjusting uh, the blend with original, but I can also change this. I think I like this one the best though. Okay. So we're going to be adjusting the flare center and the flare brightness. So the next step to do is you can either just grab the marker and move it along or you can use um, the right arrow key on your keyboard so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go forward a bit a few and then okay so now we're at a different point in the video so we want to adjust um, the flare center so I'm just gonna click on the effect again and I can just uh, I can just move the uh, the flare and as you can see um, right here it created a new keyframe these little um, two-tone diamonds that means that it created another frame um, <clears throat> so now we can just keep on doing that I'm just pressing the uh, the right arrow key on my keyboard quite a few times okay so now we want to move this even more so you grab the grab the little circle so it created another keyframe then you just sort of keep on doing that keep on adjusting now at this point actually never mind so it's like over there somewhere and then something like that okay and then at this point it would um it would start to go away so 
helps. Up to this point, our flare brightness has been 100%. It's been um, the maximum, or not the maximum, it's just been at 100%. So um, now what we can do is press the add slash remove keyframe. It's just a little white um, diamond. You click that. So what that does is um, it creates another point of reference if you don't change anything. So since this has been at 100, you place that there. If I didn't place that there, then um, the flare brightness would be adjusting the entire way, but we just want it to be 100% here. So it's just, uh, excuse me, it's just sort of like, um, just like a point of reference. So then I'm just going to go a couple more frames forward. I'm going to take the frame brightness and set that to zero. Okay, so um, that's how you do it with lens flare. I'm going to quickly render this so you guys can see it. <coughs> Excuse me. I just woke up. <laughs> Okay, so let's see how this looks. So as you can see, it's it's a subtle effect, lens flare, but um, you can see that the uh, the actual flare moves with the video, and it gives it that more professional look. Um, and then likewise, you can also adjust um, normal pictures. This this is a really simple one. So I go to the first frame in the clip as you can see you can also do it by going like that just going all the way to the left there um, and what I'm gonna adjust is the uh, positioning so I'm gonna click on the position and then um, I'm just gonna I'm just grabbing the um, the x-axis on the position and I'm gonna have it so it's off the screen and then let's say right here I want it to or we'll give it like a little bit of a better effect we'll have it where it goes almost all the way to the end and during this time it's just gonna be um, be popping out like that and then um, then at the very end it's gonna move off the it's going to move off the screen really quickly. Now I know that this uh, this tutorial and this technique can be really confusing. It took me a long time to learn how to do this. Um, so if you guys have any questions, because I feel like I might not have been super clear on a lot of these parts, um, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, so let's see how this looks. So it's coming in pretty slowly. Then at the end it just zips right off there. So uh yeah, that's basic keyframing. Um if you guys need any help, go ahead and let me know in a comment or you can private message me. Um what else? Thanks again for the great response. Oh yeah, um so when I first created this channel about I think it was about a month ago, um I uh, I just basically I was just like okay I want to create this tutorial channel um, on YouTube and so I just sat down and I wrote down let's see how many are there I wrote down 21 different uh, topics for tutorials and I'm basically running out of ideas long story short guys so if you have anything that you want me to do a tutorial on please please ask because chances are there's a lot of other people out there who have the same question that you do and uh, I'd be more than happy to help because uh, I consider myself self-taught in Adobe Premiere Pro but in reality is because of people like me who made tutorials and made my life a whole lot easier so uh, thanks for watching guys I'm Alan um, if this video is helpful please like it um, favorite it if you want and subscribe for more videos so thanks for watching guys peace out